about this is a brief introduction about compost heating. We're going to try to really ramp it up in the compost that we make, the quality of it, and capture that heat and use it effectively. We've had a lot of temperature way below freezing, you know, teen, single digits, a little bit below freeze, uh, below zero Fahrenheit for the last week or two. A whole lot of snow as you can see here. And this is a compost pile that was built two weeks ago that has not slowed down in any way. Let me just give you an idea. I think you might be able to see the steam coming out. 130, 150 Fahrenheit. I haven't temp probed it, but I've done enough compost piles to say that this is definitely a good, healthy, thermophilic pile. It's interesting to dig in and see these dry pockets, so it could use a little more moisture. But here it is making fertility for the spring and just letting all that heat go into the atmosphere and not being captured. So I got this little sled for 20 bucks from a local hardware store. Sleds are great for moving biomass around in the winter. I just make a track that's the width of the sled. And uh, what we're doing here, hey Henry. That's our friend Henry. He's going to be in some of these videos. Come on, quit eating horse poop. Um, take that sled along our little track here and what I'm just starting to do is build basically rebuild that compost pile. It's a good opportunity to turn it incorporate some snow to get the water in that it needs and I'm putting that same pile right here. This is the northeast corner of the home. I'm not going to lean it up against the house. I don't want to rot the house out but I'm going to try to rebuild that pile get a little snow in while I'm doing that, I'm going to be laying in a circuit of PEX pipe. It'll have a half inch ID, inner diameter. Uh, not that that's exactly what you want, but it's what I was able to get for free, so that's what I definitely want. <laughs> I'm going to run that circuit through here. Um, as much of it as I have, ideally the more the merrier. And have one end, well both ends, go right through that little piece of plastic that goes down into the basement. That was a glass window that broke, so I replaced it with polycarbonate greenhouse plastic for now. It's not the best in the world. It's chinked with wool to keep the air gaps closed. So I'm going to sneak the PEX down into the basement where it will be entering into a bank of 55 gallon plastic drums. Those are units that I can walk down the stairs into the basement and assemble on site or in the basement. Uh, connect them together with standard garden hose as per my other videos on rain collection and then have a basic circulator pump to be determined what that will be ideally something cheap and replicable that will take the water from that bank of barrels down there in the basement push the water up into the bottom up through the heat stack and then dump it back down if I want to get real slick I might try to bring our metal hot tub down there into the basement and have the initial hot water dump into the hot tub with a ton of insulation around it. Maybe it even goes through a bunch of uh, charcoal on its way in to filter it. So we have a continual hot tub in the basement with captured heat for basic home heating and propagation space as well. Way, way, way stacked function. All from steaming shit, literally. We're going to mix our humanor in there, we're going to mix our food scraps, etc. I'm going to mix a ton of charcoal into it so it absorbs all the smell. In the spring, we should be able to harvest, as long as I'm careful with the hay fork, my PEX tubing right back out, clean that off, be ready for next winter, and have some finished compost. You can see there's the PEX circuit in the garage, salvaged from a job site. I got to make sure it doesn't have any obstructions, blow it out with compressed air or forced water. Um, the hot tub, it's in another video, I can link to it, but it's on the other side of the fence. I just have to crack the ice and get that out, make a foundation for that, and that's more thermal mass. Here's our humanor and kitchen scrap zone. So that'll be mixed in, and that's horse manure and wood chips. All of these things would be homogenized sled load by sled load with that circuit slowly being laid in. I'll document it as I go, but I thought it'd be fun to show the early stages. Um, you know, sled was 23 bucks, but I can use it for a ton of other projects. Peck circuit I got for free. The compost I build anyway. Uh, 55 gallon plastic drums I had. And the 
hot tub I'm going to put back outside in the spring, so it's not explicitly for this project. You know, the pump is going to be what costs money. This is going to be a sub-$50 project that might give me propagation, you know, bottom heat propagation beds, way reduction in our heating load. We have a wood stove in as of this fall, and so we're almost entirely on wood heat now, which is great. Um, it'll add some needed humidity in the basement. It'll make a basement space, the eastern northern side of the basement where I'd like to do woodworking, my girlfriend would like to do clay, uh, pottery stuff, make it warm and comfortable so we have a heated working space and a hot tub that's on 24-7. Those are the goals that I'd like to accomplish for the cost of a new circulator pump which can then be used in a bunch of other projects. So. Um, this right now represents maybe four or five loads of um, horse bedding and wood chips all sourced within three miles of here with my sweet little two-wheel drive truck, which is a real real plugger. It's, it's really willing to deal with New England winters coming up from, or I guess New York winters coming up from Virginia. Some burly tires on the back. I'll get some snows for that that I can wrap on when I get stuck. But basically when I've got downtime, I can bring this full bed this will catch me about a little shy of three cubic yards if I pack it um, and just do load after load, build our fertility, capture the heat, and I will document all that and share notes on how it works, hoping for the best, being realistic that it might just be a fun thing to have tried, but seems reasonable that this could be a, a pretty great pattern to play out each winter. Alright, thanks for watching.